Welcome to Dassault System 3D Experience Forum. I'm Daniel Newman, Principal Analyst at Futurum Research. Today, I'm going to have an exciting conversation here with Vasim Khan. Vasim, welcome to the conversation room. Thank you, Daniel. So, before I jump in, because I have some, some good questions for you, I think they're good. I, I can't say I wrote them. Maybe I did. <laughs> um, How's your 3D experience forum been so far? It's been very good. I mean, it's a great location, um, some great talks, um, lots of participation. And, you know, this playground, the idea they have is wonderful. So it's been good. Yeah, so I, I, I heard you did a great job and, and you were on stage in the other room. Unfortunately, I was in here. Okay. I would have loved to had a chance to listen to you. But since I didn't get to hear, just tell me a little bit about your, your company, uh, what you do, and, and a little bit about, you know, your background. So McDermott is a 95-year-old um, oil and gas, upstream oil and gas, offshore and subsea company, so big words. But what that means is that we design, we fabricate, and we install facilities to produce oil and gas in deep water, shallow water, all over the world. Very interesting. So one of the big themes of 3D Experience has been beyond just the platform digitalization or digital transformation, something that's also near and dear to my heart. Um, and I understand that you guys at McDermott are going through a pretty substantial digital transformation yourselves. And being in oil and gas, not necessarily being in high tech or being in, you know, in consumer or retail, uh, we're not hearing as many stories. Share a little bit about the story of the digital transformation that's taking place at McDermott. So we, as McDermott, have looked at the industries. We've looked at automotive, we've looked at aerospace, we've looked at healthcare and retail, and we realize that there are technologies out there today which can be adapted to the oil and gas environment. So the learnings of other industries brought into the oil and gas environment. So we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. What we're trying to do is take the technologies which have worked in healthcare, they've worked for Amazon, they work for Netflix, and we take those technologies and adapt them for the upstream oil and gas industry. So what we are doing is creating a digital twin. And for us, the digital twin is not just a 3D model. It's the single source of truth for everything we do. So you don't have to go to filing cabinets. You don't have to go to folders on, plat on, cal on calculators. You don't have to go to um, you know, your secretary's desk. Everything is in one place. That's very interesting. So the digital twin is is been a another kind of very common idea here. We've heard a lot about it in life sciences, um, hearing about it now here in oil and gas. But obviously, beyond digital twin, there's a whole bunch of technologies coupled with you know shifting the business and the culture that that com comprise a digital transformation. Talk a little bit about maybe some of the other technologies that you guys are embracing. Maybe AR, VR, AI, so cloud. Thank you, Daniel. Good, very interesting question. So the digital twin is an enabler for everything you've talked about. So the facilities we build have IOT devices, they've got edge devices. So we can bring the data in and with that data we can use AR to replicate the actual physical environment. So before a tech goes out there to do maintenance work, they can, we can simulate that maintenance work on the 3D experience platform using AR glasses, because AR for us is more important than VR. So using AR glasses, using mixed reality, we can simulate the task. So what that means is that the time spent offshore, hundreds, thousands of dollars a day, an hour, sorry, can be spent onshore learning what you need to do before you do it. In terms of robotics, for example, the digital twin is a roadmap. It's like Google Maps for robots offshore. We can use the data from the digital twin to remotely guide robots to where we want them to go. So we can use the same for drones as well. So the digital twin, the 3D experience platform, is just a starting point. It's an enabler for all of the technologies which we bring in from other industries. Robotics, IIoT, use the cloud, use digital technologies, not only on our platform, but our own facilities, our fabrication yards, our marine boats. We will know um, when we're operating a vessel offshore, we will know the fuel consumption in real time. We will know the load on the crane in real time. All of this we can do because we have a digital representation of the physical. So I have to ask you, because 
many people out there, including myself, who, who research and study transformations that, that are taking place inside of organizations, we hear theor theory a lot. And you guys are putting this in, in place and you're, you're seeing results from it. But a lot of times the story itself of how it came about is almost as interesting because pe people want to know, how do I drive change in my organization? So before I let you go, I just want to know, at McDermott, what inspired you? You talked about the industries you looked at, and you talked about what you're doing. What inspired the company to really get on board and start to digitally transform? The realization that the fact that you've been in existence for 95 years doesn't guarantee existence for the next five years even. The industry, the oil and gas industry, is changing rapidly because of renewables, because of regulations. To stay relevant, to stay ahead of the pack, we realized a couple of years ago that we need to embrace change. We need to identify the pain points in the industry and we need to use technology to remedy the pain points. We realized that oil is not going to be at $150 for any time in the near future. And we realized that to, st to have projects stay relevant against the competing projects we've got, we've got to bring down the cost of how we do work. And digital is a way of bringing down costs. It's a way of managing change, and it's a way of improving quality and safety. So, so you say a lot of times you hear a terminology like adapt or die, fail fast, uh, succeed sooner when you do. You know, these are some of the terms that you often hear, but it sounds like you guys really did kind of embrace the fact that so many incumbents have fallen off of the Fortune 500s and the different indexes because they got complacent. They got lazy a little bit with thinking the way they did things would continue to work into the future. The smartphone you probably would have had, Daniel, 10 years ago, which everyone who was anyone had in their pockets. The Blackberry. I, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't aware we were allowed to say the names. But the smartphone you would have had 10 years ago, no one has now. Statistically, they have a 0% market share, 0.4%. 10 years ago, if someone were to ask you, Daniel, would they be existence, what would you have said? You, you, exa just like Blockbuster Video. Right, just Change. so many of these. In, they in had a great model 20 years ago, right? You're probably too young, Daniel. But, you know, there are companies out there which were king of the hill um, 15, 20, 25 years ago. And people don't know about them. They, never, they don't know they ever existed. Before BlackBerry, there was Palm Pilot. Yep. Um, the major phone supplier of kits 10 years ago got bought out by another company who then basically shut them down. So who would have predicted 15 years ago that Nokia would not exist anymore? So the fact that you've existed, Nokia existed for 100 years as a, a paper company and as other, but the fact that you exist for 95 years doesn't guarantee you will exist for the next five unless you adapt technology and you embrace change. What a terrific story about digital transformation. Thank you, you. You shared so many of the words that I myself believe, Asim Khan. So thank you for spending a little time here with me at the 3D Experience Thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it.